Hi, I'm Stephen Schaumler, Portland Food Cart Adventures. We're here with uh, Phil Shen and Kim Pham. Delighted you guys are here. Thanks for having now, us. Now, you guys, uh, you used to live in Portland, right? Yeah, um, we both grew up in Southern California, and uh, we moved up to Portland in uh, summer, uh, yeah, summer of 2009. Uh, kind of wanted a change, and we just decided, we literally threw everything in my tiny car. I have a Volkswagen Golf, we threw everything in there, we drove straight up. We've, I had never been. I had never been once before. Yeah, I've yeah. never been to Portland <laughs> until then. So we literally showed up, knew not a single person. Uh, we just, you know, planted out here, yeah, for about, uh, we stayed about four, four years. years. Yeah. yeah. And professionally, you guys are professional photographers, professional yeah. videographers, is that right? Yeah, that's that's our trade, and uh, when we came out here, that was kind of the dream, you know, we, uh, you know, talking about small businesses, you know, we wanted to kind of try to do our own thing, be our own small business owner, and. Um, and that's why we moved out here. You know, we thought there was a better opportunity here, just in terms of cost of living and just opportunity compared to you know California. So, yeah. uh, so that's why we came out. Yeah. And if you ever get the chance to check out their professional photography work, it is amazing. I take pictures, but I'm not a real photographer. <laughs> I have friends that are real photographers that love what you guys do and are very, very impressed with it. But when you were here, you started a cool website. And what is that? Uh, it's called uh, Behind the Food Carts. Uh, it was actually Kim's idea. We. When we first got here, um, we were, you know, obviously, you know, struggling artists, I guess is the best term, right? And we ended up seeing all these food carts everywhere, and we're like, what is going on, you know? So we really wanted to kind of, we, we love food, you know, we're foodies, and food, that, yeah, that term kind of gets thrown around now, but we do love food a lot, and we wanted to try the different foods in the, in the city, and we noticed there were pods everywhere, we've never seen it before, and, you know, we're huge fans of, like, traveling to Asia and kind of seeing, like, you know, night markets with, you know, different st stalls and stands, so we were fascinated. I think every weekend we went to go eat a different food cart, and uh, I think just maybe, like, what, a, a couple months in, you know, yeah, Kim just thought, I'm really curious about that guy that's in that car by himself in this little box, right? Yep. He's actually taking the money, right? He's also, you know, going back to cook the food, then giving the food back out. One person and they're doing all this stuff, and, and she's like, let's let's take some portraits of these people. We wanted, we wanted to focus more on the person behind the scenes and, and not just kind of that food porn that everyone does nowadays. You know, but that's definitely a part of it. We love showing pictures of food, but uh, we really wanted to get to know people better and kind of, you know, kind of what you do too is just really hear about their stories and, and uh, just find out how they got to where they're at, you know? Yep. So you started writing about food carts here in Portland, yeah. and then you moved to San Francisco, right, recently? Yeah, yeah we moved last year. Last year. And so we've been um, doing interviews with all the food trucks down there. So it kind of went from food carts, which is what we call these contraptions yeah. here in Portland, right. to food trucks, yeah. what they call those contraptions in the rest of the country. Yeah. Right. So you guys um, recently got your own book contract, is that right? Yes, we did. <laughs> I am very excited about that. So it's, it's, a, it's a food truck cookbook, right? Yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna do kind of food carts, food trucks all across the U.S. But definitely a little bit more of an ambitious project. But we we figured if we get one chance to do it, we wanted to do it kind of like really crazy and and really just showcase kind of the different scenes in different parts of the U.S. You know, I think Portland really kind of spoils you with this kind of food cart scene because everyone here in the city loves it, uh, and it's really part of the actual culture of the city. And it's fun to see like you know different states all across the U.S. do kind of very similar types of foods and filling in niches and in, in different in their cities that don't have that type of food you know so. so you're spending this spring and I suspect a little bit of the summer traveling to different cities yeah. taking pictures eating the food getting the story what an awful project yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you recently went on an East Coast tour yeah so what were some of the cities on that stop that you went on yeah um, so we went to Austin um, New Orleans Atlanta Raleigh DC Philly and New York Wow. Oh, man, I'm jealous. <laughs> so I got to ask you when we're done about yeah. New Orleans. I'm headed there in two weeks, yeah, awesome. so I will go to the food trucks that you send me to. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Because if the pictures that you always take, I mean, I know the food's got to be great, but that's yeah. why you're here in Portland, because you're here right. in Portland working on the book now. Right. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, we wanted to come back and kind of end with where it all began, so yeah. uh, we definitely, you know, have relationships out here, and we wanted to kind of, you know, obviously include the Portland food cart scene, and um, yeah, we just, we just, we literally, two days ago, we were in New York, you know, and we're kind of, we're here again, it's kind of, I guess the funny story was we're in New York doing all the food trucks out there, and, uh, you know, obviously our first stop here, we went to uh, Saver Soup House, which is, you know, do great soups, and they have their own farm, and then their farmer came by and was like, do you want a dozen of eggs? And I was like, we're definitely back in Portland, you know, I got, I get, I got, I get you know, farm fresh eggs right away, it's like, it's, it's awesome, you know, I think that's what makes Portland special, too, is there's a lot of that kind of, you know, farm relationships that people have, and and local sourcing, so. So people that want to buy the book, it doesn't have a title yet, right? Not yet. But it's yeah. going to be a cookbook yes. about yep. with food trucks yes. and some Portland food carts yep. sure. and some stories yes. about the people that are making it happen. Yep. Definitely. And so for people that want to buy it, it's going to come out later this year, November, December roughly. Yeah. 
for the holiday season. For yeah. Hol yeah. Holiday season. So yeah. if they go to be, uh, if this fall they yeah. go to behindthefoodcarts.com, yeah. they'll yes. be able to find links and you'll yeah. put yes. up stuff about the book and all that. Totally. Sure. Yeah. We we definitely yeah. will. <laughs> we'll we'll definitely let people know about it for sure. Excellent. Yeah. And I'll be sure to promote it and talk the heck out of it because I'm awesome. excited about it. Yeah. So one of the cool things yeah. is that you are a contributing writer to my book, Portland Food Cart Stories. Yeah. Phil, you wrote some stuff up. I did, yes. <laughs> and uh, and we've got some book or some carts that actually overlap. So some of the yeah. carts that I write about, you're going to have like mulberry. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, big ass sandwiches, yep. egg carton, uh -huh. and uh, there's a fourth uh, one. Fried egg and love. That's right. Oh, I love those crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. No, it's great. I, I think it's. I think that's part of that community of you know food writers and bloggers, and it's just it's a really nice community just being able to meet you and kind of contribute and help each other out. I think we love it. We love it. So yeah, so you can read about those stories in my book, and then as soon as Phil's comes out, I'll say go there and check out those recipes. Awesome. Uh, Ryan at Mulberry, did you have fun? I saw a photo yeah. of you on his bike. I did, yeah. <laughs> uh, we saw him on Shark Tank a couple weeks ago, and yeah. Um, yeah, we were excited. I really wanted, I knew like the moment I met him, I wanted to get on the bike and, and, and do the Blend. bike blender, but no, he's an awesome guy. He's just, it's just kind of, yeah, just great you know entrepreneur spirit you know going on shark tank obviously shows that and just kind of yeah power bike smoothies the smoothies are are amazing they're actually really they're good. they're really good they're, they're ex extremely healthy and, and very tasty so and you got big ass sandwiches yes we literally we were just there <laughs> we, were there <laughs> we were there about an hour ago so we just came over and uh, talked to lisa and uh, ate one of her big ass sandwiches actually so, excellent yeah well i won't spoil it for people who want to get my book but i actually cover where the name big ass sandwiches came oh, from awesome. in my book i asked the question so now i know the secret origin so I put it into my book. That's awesome. And I think I have adequate pictures. I'm sure your pictures will be <laughs> phenomenal. So then I'll be jealous, but that's okay. <laughs> now you've got two, uh, you have fried egg, my love, and you yeah. also have egg carton. So sure you've do. got two breakfast, local Portland mm -hmm. breakfast food carts in your book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what attracted you to egg carton? They make amazing breakfast food. And we, we love breakfast. And so right away we just knew we had to include something that had eggs and sausage and bacon, anything of that nature. So, yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to get uh, see if we can talk to Tim and Sarah and coming on uh, coming on with us in a few minutes. Yeah. That'd be awesome. So yeah. just to finish up, one of the in uh, mm -hmm. your contribution to Portland Food Cart sure. stories, one of the carts you wrote about mm -hmm. is Caspin Kebab. Yeah. And there it had a special place in your heart. You want to tell us why and why that's one of the carts you chose to focus on? Yeah, I grew up in a part of like West LA that it's called Little Persia. So I grew up with a lot of Persian friends and it, I ate a lot of Persian food growing up actually, which is kind of awesome. And uh, it's definitely hard to find, I think, in the rest, outside of California, outside of LA. But uh, the moment that we walked by, you know, Victor's cart, I was like, dude, this is, this is Persian food. This is, you know, like, this is, you know, real authentic Persian food. And, and, you know, we talked to him and we ate the food and he makes something called kubi day, which is like one of my favorite Persian dishes. It's like, you know, lamb, uh, beef mix, kebabs, you know, grilled. And he makes it, it's like the juiciest thing you can get, you know, uh, meat wise. And it, it's amazing. So it was fun to just talk to him and see that he's kind of feeling a niche here in Portland where there isn't that much Persian food. He, he knows that he's kind of, there's a responsibility for him to represent his food yeah. very well and actually spread the culture out to people. So very cool. Yeah, yeah Rami's Lamb Shack, he mm -hmm. does kebabs and he does more of a Mediterranean. Sure. Right. Although Rami's wife grew up in Tehran. Oh, awesome. And okay. so she knows Persian food. Yeah. So I think that Rami and Victor, you should go to each other's car to do a review or something. Yes, for sure. That would so, be awesome. But uh, just in closing, a big shout out to Victor and Tracy at a Caspian Kebab. And I'm excited for you guys' book to come out. Yeah, thanks thank so you much. so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank awesome. You so much. Yeah. All right. <laughs> thank you. That's it. I encourage you to get off the couch and head out on a food cut adventure of your own.